What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeMode.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Tuesday, December 7th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman, only place you get updates to my sims as we get closer to lock. Let me know in the comments section who's your favorite and least favorite contender. And finally, shout out to Prize Picks for being the presenting sponsor of this video. Use the promo code AWESOMO when signing up to get up to $100 on your first deposit. Now we're rounding out the bottom of my top 10 on an incredibly difficult slate with Jakob Pertl, Julius Randle, Alec Burks, Anthony Davis, and Jalen Brunson on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? It's time to find out. First up at number five, I'm looking at RJ Barrett. He is shooting guard, small forward eligible. 5,300, projected for 26 and a half. The goal is 37 and a half. He's in the optimal lineup 35% of the time. Now, for Barrett, I'm thinking something in the neighborhood of 30 minutes, but we did see a report that Tibbs may be changing up the rotation a bit, so buyer beware right now. 22% usage, 14 points, 6 boards, 3 assists, a stock. Pace up spot, though, against San Antonio. RJ Barrett's probably going to gain about a fantasy point just from the pace of this game, so... While he looks good, and you get that shooting guard small forward benefit, that's like a pretty good overlap for you on a day like today. Pay close attention to what the starting lineup's going to look like, but I think there's upside in his minutes at 30, and that price tag works. At number four, we're looking at Luka Doncic. He's point guard, shooting guard eligible, 10,300. Projected for 53, the goal is 58 and a half, and he is in the optimal lineup 39% of the time. He's been playing a little bit better as of late. I've got him at 1.46 fantasy points per minute in this matchup. 36 minutes, 36% usage, 27 points, almost 10 boards. We'll call it almost 10 assists. It's 27, nine and a half and 9.3, a stock and a half, pace up spot against Brooklyn. Now he is questionable. We don't totally know if he's going to be playing here and I don't love getting to Luca when he's a little dinged up, but I think he's also just always dinged up. 10-3 is a really nice price tag. There's a lot of guys you can pay up for today. I think Luka might be the best one. Next up at number three, we're going to Keldon Johnson. He is small forward, power forward eligible. 5,400, projected for 29. The goal is 38. He's in the optimal lineup 45% of the time. We're talking 33 minutes. That's a pretty reasonable stance for Keldon Johnson. Around 0.85 fantasy points per minute. Neutral usage, 15 points, seven boards, two assists, and a stock. Pace down spot against New York, which isn't totally ideal, but the minutes are there. A mid-tier price tag looks pretty good, and this San Antonio team plays relatively fast. I think he just looks good from a price, position, and minutes standpoint. This one surprised me, but at number two, I'm going revenge narrative. Point guard, shooting guard, Dennis Schroeder, 5,200, projected for 27 and a half. Goal, 37. He's in the optimal lineup 46% of the time. I got him in for 30 minutes. I don't think it's crazy if he plays a little bit more. I don't know how many minutes Jalen Brown can play if he plays today. If Jalen Brown happens to be out, Shooter will look even better. 0.92 fantasy points per minute, 15 points, four boards, five assists, a steal, massive pace up spot against LA. They gain 2.4 possessions over their average. We're talking right there about an extra, probably like a little over a fantasy point for Shooter. That's really helpful. That that really uh, the difference between 26 and a half fantasy points and 27 and a half fantasy points as a median projection on a three game slate is actually a lot. And that I think is what's driving Schroeder into this number two spot. Now, before we get to the number one contender, one last reminder to please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Head to Twitter, follow me at Josh Engelman. Head to the comment section, let me know who your favorite and least favorite contenders are, and then head to Prize Picks. Use the promo code Osmo to sign up and get up to $100 on your first deposit. Did not see this one coming at all. LaMarcus Aldridge is my number one contender for today. 5,600. He's power forward center eligible. Projected for 32. The goal is 39. He's in the optimal lineup 48% of the time. This one's just kind of crazy. He's been playing really big minutes as of late. I got him in for 30. I think 32 or 33 is very reasonable. So there is a little bit of wiggle room here. 1.06 fantasy points per minute, 16 points and eight boards, one of basically everything else. Pace down spot against Dallas, but I think it's a really good matchup for him. They're playing Dwight Powell for like 12 minutes a game at center. That's not stopping Aldridge. Porzingis is the guy in there for the rest of it. I don't think Aldridge is all that worried about Porzingis either. 
This spot feels really good for Aldridge. A double-double seems like pretty likely. I know I got him at eight boards, but I wouldn't mind looking at like double-double props for Aldridge. This spot feels great, and he is in 48% of optimals, just shy of the coin flip, but he is my number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Tuesday, December 7th. DraftKings version of this video is around here somewhere. Check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. We're back again tomorrow for another edition of The Contenders.